Hello, oh, welcome once again to another installment of Written Wednesday. I am, as always, your host, captive or otherwise, and we have with us Dovaquil. Greetings all, the privilege is mine. Sush, yeah, punch that dialogue. And Hardwired, we got a Meg. And, uh, to go back to what Sush said just a second ago yeah punch that dialogue it just makes me think of that one um okay I, I know I've seen the clip bouncing around on YouTube a bit recently or within the past few weeks or so where it's like inspirational quotes generated by an AI and it's like punch your face and just ridiculous stuff oh yeah co-host Sush exactly all right now for a lot of the stream probably let, let's be honest here, for, for a lot of this stream, I'm going to be going back, well, honestly, I'm going to be talking to the chat, but in between that, I'm going to uh, be going back and going over some dialogue, because it seemed kind of cartoonishly extreme. <laughs> Meg, I love that, punch your face! Yeah, I know. Oh, God, it was... Hang on, I want to see, hang on, okay, hang on, okay. <laughs> I want to pop online just really, really quick. And I think I might go over some of the videos I watch for inspiration, if that helps for anybody for specific characters. But I want to see if I can find that real quick in stream and just go from writing to, hey, look, now I'm a React channel. Inspirational... AI. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's a yeah, Soot House. Punch I thought yourself. so. So there's this website essentially where an AI takes a set of randomly generated string yeah, of right words here. and phrases and a randomly se random selection of images and tries to create inspirational quotes. A lot of the time, these are very nice quotes. They're very they're, they work. They're motivational. They get me want to. They make me want to get. My I, I, I shit, absolutely the love these the guys. Time, if anyone's dreadful. actually seen them, um, I think it would be funny if we read some of those out. They can force you to exercise regularly, but they can't force you to travel to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be the reason a stranger gets diarrhea today. <laughs> So like I said, all of these are literally all made by an AI, randomly generated. Yeah, these, these are great and I absolutely adore this channel. Time. Be the reason why someone gets pregnant. Marriages have the potential to regulate income. Isn't it kind of obvious that cockroaches Similar are Similar subscriptions to Sid House. Oh my god, power? yeah. <laughs> when I play text what? adventure games, I use theme music. Keep on running! Oh yeah, same here, especially with writing. <laughs> the fact that you are ugly what makes you a failure <laughs> oh, oh these are hitting a little hard to, these, are, these are hitting a little hard I think I'm going to have to leave <laughs> Ooh. but uh, yeah I might delve into a few videos I use for some of my more serious characters there's one in here that I, I there's a particular subset of video that I watch that helps me kind of dial it in even I can make better inspir <laughs> even I can make better inspirational posters than that. Oh, undoubtedly. And it truly, <laughs> and it usually <laughs> involves murder. <laughs> oh no, Meg's one of the victims. She's the first. <sighs> Yeah, okay, Meg is gone, like you didn't have anything to do with it. I, I'm sure she's one of your, your latest inspirational quotes. I'm going to try to make inspirational sayings to inspire you, Kayla. Oh dear. Inspire. Oh, jeez, that one's a little bit too real, too, Dova. Inspire, conspire, retire, expire. 
Oh. No, no, I, I won't give musical accompaniment <laughs> musical accompaniment to that one. Though I do have one in mind. We came, we inspired, we died. Oh, God. Meg's going to be disappointed to come back to the stream and see everybody's dead. trying to see how much of this can actually go because the problem with having characters fight verbally it's not gonna excuse me make any of the characters look good secondly you run the risk of going a little too extreme with it and making the characters feel more like Saturday morning cartoon characters they're just fighting oh your roommates here hello roommate my roomie came up with, remember the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Ooh, I like that. Mine is... We're not doing this again, Sush. I will banish you to the entire population of the lava. I swear to goodness I will. In the 19th year of the 12th millennia of the human era, a whole stream audience tragically passed in the midst of inspiration. Here's one. All right, a Sush original. Let's hear it, Sush. If you feel like a failure, remember that the Black Death has an esteemed body count of 450 million? Is, is that supposed to be inspirational because you survived? Or is that just... Here, here's a, a healthy dose of knowledge. Good night. but it's noticeable because it goes against contemporary writing conventions. Well, I appreciate that, but I want to try and fix it a little bit. Yes, yes it is. This is just much, much later in the book. And I, I like the... I like your your way of of analyzing it of uh, going against contemporary writing conventions. I think that's the <laughs> I think that's the nicest way I've ever been told. This is a little shabby.
Your dialogue has two little fun facts about the bubonic plague. Here, hang on, hang on. I think I can make Sush happy. I have props for this. There, the stream has improved immensely. Actual leather, by the way. <laughs> Sush, you're such a black death nerd, Caleb. Why, yes, I am. Cool. Good high school. Now let me see this monstrosity on frame. Oh God, with the hair and every oh, ugh, ugh, no, not not with the not with the hair sticking out. There is a time and a place to be a plague doctor. With long hair is not the time nor the place. Oh, okay, okay, I'm reading Ivanhoe, and the 19th century English is formal and long. Their phraseology is flowery and confusing, unlike most... Oh, no! <laughs> Sush skipped me down. It is flowery and confusing, not unlike most modern... Or, excuse me, unlike most modern stories, they start by discussing the historical context of the narrative. I don't know if I'd do that or not. I might do that. My science teacher once claimed we needed to stop solar panels because if we suck too much... <laughs> Sush, you live an interesting life with interesting... interesting people. But my science... My science teacher once claimed that we need to stop solar panels because if we suck too much power from the sun, the sun will implode. I asked her how evolution worked, and she just said, IDK. So I googled it, and now I'm an atheist and don't trust teachers. <laughs> oh, this is why she ran off to the entire population of lava. But on... Uh, the topic of, of old books, Dova. This is one of the ones I've been reading. It is... I always forget the guy's name. Uh, oh yeah, Joseph Conrad's Nostromo. Holding a similar focus on details. Yeah, I, I like trying to paint as much visually as I can with a book, and I... That might be wrong of me to do, but it's always been something I've noticed people enjoy in the writings I, I do and have done in the past. So I'm, I, I, it's just part of, I guess, my style, and I want to try and hone it and see what I can make of that. It's a shame I accidentally murdered Meg with my ESP. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what was it? The self-defense rush? This is one of Susha's special moves. When she's not entirely certain that she's under attack, she screams self-defense, then proceed. <laughs> yeah, self-defense rush attack. There we go.
If it was <laughs> self-deprecation attack, wedding dancing rush. No, wedding dancing bullet barrage. There you go. This is one of Sush's special moves. <laughs> An error occurred. She used her special move on the chat. <laughs> Oh no, she used it on OBS too. He's actually not an automaton. He just has to wear this big clunky rebreather system and the more worked up he gets, the more it hisses and sputters. And I also note uh, in an earlier chapter that he doesn't keep up the maintenance very well with the filter so it's kind of a constant battle there but I, I'm very glad you you like the you like the dialogue I just need to fix there's a little bit under this that I'm not okay with and I want to try and make sure I get everything as, as good as I can a oh, whole monger day Oh no. Yeah, no, Sush used 100% of her power and just 86 the stream. That's one day just there's not going to be any more streams. My computer's just going to set on fire with her with her esper power. And all the kaboblings will weep. I'm doing 100% right now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm waiting till we go over the 100%. Oh, no. 100% boredom over the movie you are filming or whatever we're doing. Ah. Uh. Bookworm? Wait a second, would that be a Katie? Did I guess it? Si, senor, yep. And my goodness, this is early for you. It's cool that you're working on your own stuff and my pros. What, the dialogue between the two of them or the actual, like, narration in between? Oh, that's cool of him. <laughs> yes, just all of it. Another writer on the stream? Yes, we... Well, aside from you, Katie. Yes, we do. Dovel Quill actually gave me a very, very good um, breakdown of, of my uh, first chapter preview.
<laughs> because you're shaking it. <laughs> This isn't Sparta. Oh my, we're getting some good quotes in here. Oh my god, yes. Katie is an endless fountain of, of writing ideas. We actually have a few RPs going on with our two uh, settings meeting. I am I am already ready for that. Ring right here. Hello there. Don't try it, insert your name here. I have the high ground. Oh, this this is fantastic. And all we had to do was sacrifice Meg to bring the chat to life. Ooh, who's this here? Yeah, no, Katie has an absolutely amazing universe. <laughs> As he died of diarrhea. True, truly, truly the end we should all strive for. of defying their deceased emperors. <laughs> Alright, Caleb, you have to tie break. Oh, a tie breaker. Not mine, I hope.
Oh, there goes OBS. Alright, who who am I who am I tie breaking? That would have to be Katie, and I, I'm afraid it's not even close. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Sush. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> but no, Sush, you are creative in your own way. When it comes to sculpting and making video games, I'd boil it down to outright being clever. So, very good to you. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, I think Jacob's going to be able to join us. I know my sodium intake goes through the roof every Wednesday. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my god, yeah. Dovaquil, anyone ever feel so close to characters in a series you feel like you're partying with good friends when you finish? Yeah, all, all the time. Sush! Sush! We mind our mouths in this stream. I keep on forgetting, says Sush. I'm not creative like you guys. You don't have to be creative to remember things, Sush. For example, I'd like to think I'm pretty creative and I forgot to get myself a cup for the Coke Zero, so now we're doing this this lonely, lonely single guy in a flat style. Mm. 
Mmm, refreshing and depressing. <laughs> I learned English watching the game, Grumps. <laughs> I want to imagine that the first English word that... Uh, no, okay, it's, it's got to be a tie, depending on what season or series of gra Game Grumps she was watching. The first word she either learned was Aaron or Barry. Barry. <laughs> I learned a bit of Chinese by watching anime. I think that would be Japanese. Oh, wow. You've been around for a while. Alright, uh, let me see. Chinese I learned from cookbooks. Kirby and Dream... Oh god, what was this? Oh, there's so many good ones of Game Grumps to want to try and recount. I'm trying to think... I know that buggy Sonic game where they're snowboarding was just absolutely fantastic. Excuse me. <laughs> it's very upsetting to read that, Sush. It's okay. It's okay. Bring it in. Bring it in. Shut your whole poo team. Oh. And nobody noticed that Jacob snuck into the chat. <laughs> and he left just as suddenly. <laughs> I'd easily sacrifice you if it brought back, back Meg. Oh. And Jacob snuck back. So, Jacob, how is Area 51? I skipped down too far. As, as the prophecy foretold. Please tell me he didn't join the others in the Naruto run. Are you kidding me? Jacob led the charge. That's why he keeps dropping in and out of the stream. He's, he's trying to connect f with us through the spirit realm. And they have awful Wi-Fi there. He, he might as well just be si sitting with, with the entire population of lava. It's nice and sunny here at Area 51. Yeah, see, come on, Katie. Get with the program. It, it's nice. It's nice there. It's a wonderful place to go, aside from the hail of torrential bullet fire. Yeah, no, you know, it, it was a bit of misunderstanding. About 20,000 died, but, you know, it... <laughs> Sush phone home. Yeah, we had to get Sush back into space, you know. She she just wasn't adapting well to human society. <sighs> the dissection <laughs> the dissection table is really comfortable. Yeah, I know, but I I think there's a lack of communication going on there. I said take a little off the top and now I don't have any eyebrows or anything from the neck down. Uh <laughs> and left. Haha, <laughs> funny guys. <laughs> you don't even feel a scalpel. Come and get me, please. IDK, I think putting a hot sauce into someone someone's milk before they drink it is hilarious. 
as is running someone's flamboyant <laughs> undies on the flagpole. Oh, yep, now we know Jacob's a part of the stream. Here come the memes. What are you sending now? Oh, right, this. No, I, I don't want an alien mouth to have to feed. I'm pretty sure eventually law enforcement would catch wise to me. They're on to us. Eustace, Florida. Obviously a code name. Run, Sush, run. Eerily sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a police alarm. Ooh. Caleb is about to get shot probably. <sighs> well, it was a good run, guys. You will be shot any second now. I have been swatted. You know, I might even make that italic too since we're talking about the infinity drive. Or just a normal Floridian. Sometimes it works very well. Alright, Jacob. There are some books that like to abuse the living heck out of italics and bolds and underlines. And stuff like that. Sometimes it works very well. I assume other times it's my book. <laughs> Oh God, Frank Herbert, author of Dune. I know I don't have, like, okay, I know he's a modern classic. I know my book isn't the next cultural phenomenon or sensation or anything crazy like that, but it doesn't take a great writer to know a bad one. And my God, I do not like Frank Herbert. And I think Dune is the single most overhyped piece of literature on the face of the planet Earth. Look at this beautiful Floridian swamp cat and her adorable kittens. Oof, that's 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 the stuff of nightmares right there. The ooh. Let's just put put this here for everybody to wanna everyone to wanna get a get a good look at. God, there's so many little... Oh! Whew. Mm. 
<laughs> what a cute kitty. Yeah. Yeah. It triggers me when you put hissing in your book, Caleb. He's not even reading. Yes, I am reading. I was just taking a minute to uh, try and recollect the existential dread I was experiencing for that alligator and all of the alligatelets. Oh, there we go. More generic armor. Very thing, excuse me. Before you go, you want to ask. Oh, by the way, guys, okay, Dovaquil, you know how you praised the beginning book and the robot? Jacob did not like the robot at all in the beginning. He he fundamentally hates it and everything it stands for because of the dialogue and I the way he described the dialogue being wrong for this thing was absolutely hysterical. He described it as an 1800s woman pretending to be a robot because of the mannerisms. And I do want to go back and try and tweak that there. And there's a character I did want to try and have at the very beginning that I might try and work in there to try and balance that out a little bit better. Like I get um, Dova Quills breakdown of the, of the scene and everything that was going on there and I feel like technically I hit those right marks but I feel like I could be doing it a lot better and I could kind of balance and balance it out a little bit more and redo that dialogue so that it's not so you know off kilter do you or anyone in the chat do this with your writing having like similar archetypes for races else no I try, I try to avoid that so I can have multi-faceted species. However, given the sheer bulk of the species I do have, some of them aren't all aren't, aren't as multifaceted. Some of them have a much stronger overarching cultural identity, kind of like the Megarians. There's a bit of variety in there between the different areas they're from, but sometimes just by way of the, the sheer vastness of it, I, I have them that through some circumstance of their civilization or culture that they just have this prevailing kind of identity that precedes them into the room. Oh, you've, you've got his, you've got his, uh, his attention now. I remember a lot of your stuff, but I don't quite remember what you're referencing right now, Sush. She's been doing great work with... Uh, you remember uh, the frog we had in the stream? Now we have a, a cow. Or a moose. Also, plan <laughs> also Caleb. Planet of Hats? Not really so much. There are a you that kind of borderline that territory but there's a reason for it I usually tie it back to some sort of prevailing very strong element of their culture that sort of shapes them in a way that kind of makes them somewhat predictable oh it's a reindeer I thought it was a moose show it on stream now all right uh, let me let me get it before I leave I don't think we've chatted before either all right uh, boop -ba -doop, boop 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 go to sush Here he is, the little cow in 
in space. A little snow cow in infinite green space. He's in Greenland. No, Iceland. Iceland's the green one. Greenland's the ice one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Sorry, geography ain't my, my strong suit. And here's the sush thing. Blammo. No, please go right ahead, Skype guy. We're we're here for writing and inspiring ourselves and sort of what what would be the word? Not coercing, encouraging a dialogue. Don't <laughs> don't dox my FPS. Uh, oopsie doopsie guys there's I don't know how to block this out in post or anything so that's kind of in the video Can just cut it out with Windows Movie Maker. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, it's it's okay. None of my games have none of my games have names. Why they all stink? No, they don't. You are too, Sush. You just haven't yet. And besides, names for series is difficult. I remember early 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 on with my series here when I was 12 and I had originally come up with the uh, the book okay. I just need a little more refining even da Vinci didn't turn out masterpieces right off the bat exactly yes exactly Jacob <sighs> excuse me but um way way early on when I was 12 I had initially come up with the name Space Quest as original as that was for uh, my series and I was really really into the name until I learned that Space Quest was already taken 
and that it was a very popular old computer game by Sierra. And then I learned the games were awesome, and I couldn't even be mad about it. And it took me ages and ages and ages. I think it took me months to come up with Infinity Quest as as the actual title, and then from there it's history. Oh, uh, that's uh, the character consultancy, the writing group I'm in. The one with the person doing uh, the video about the yoggle. All right, see you later, Jacob. I, I just said it now, Jacob. Okay, bye. I think the cops are finally going after him to get the aliens back. Yeah, it's uh, a right uh, a channel of writers over on Discord that I'm a part of, and I, I, I've known her for a while, and she invited me to the chat, and it's it's been pretty fun ever since. Trading character coffins. <laughs> no, we'd have to be an anime character board then. Your ideas ain't terrible. Oh my god. Hang on. There we go. Oh, okay, so that's what control O does. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Theocratic gay <laughs> crazy coronation. <laughs> all all under the, the benevolent rule of our, our founder. Yes, the the good leader of the TT, uh, TCC chat. <laughs> Troubling concrete crankers. Uh, <laughs> the crusty crab. Oh, oh goodness. True caramel candy bar. I I don't know why, but that strikes me as like an actual marketing campaign that makes me very opinionated about caramel. I need true caramel candy bars. That's, that, does, that sounds like an actual marketing thing. The Conquering Corn. Ooh. <laughs> the Corn Children. Ah. Uh.
Oh no, come on. Come on, don't do not do that. An error. Don't, come on. Stop making crowd jokes. We already had the crusty crab. It's downhill from to here. To Terry. Okay, no, so we didn't mention the tongues yet. Is ooh, that's a that's a good point. How Katie says, how can you be anything but downhill if your restaurant is already on the sea floor? Check and mate, Sush.
or murder. <laughs> I, I think Sush is making plans. <laughs> uh, ocean fish gang violence. Ter terrible, terrible thing. Don't even get me started. No, I won't get you started, Sush, because I'm pretty sure you'll phone up the entire population of the sea and have them rejoin us in chat. <laughs> yeah, man, the fish here are awful. The education system... <laughs> do, you, do you consider the rocks to be dead? <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me. Oh, we're getting philosophical in the chat tonight. Oh, I got it backwards, okay.
Oh, sush. Just good old sushi. <sighs> yeah, no, I can't imagine having a bear for a pet. That's 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 some crazy stuff right there. I don't like the idea of something that could easily kill me hanging around my house. <laughs> you need to stop owning bears. Uh, <laughs> pick one. Uh, well, you know, if you didn't own bears, maybe you'd be inclined to go outside more often because there wouldn't be the ever-present threat of death. You feed the bear. You feed the bear, Caleb. Uh-uh, I'm going to go on living. You feed it. All right. Move that down. I think this bit definitely needs some touching up. This bit, I definitely want to pick All right, this one here. Even greater than my arrival. Actually, move all of this down and get. Does anyone have bingo? Okay, hang on. There's there's some mathematics going on here. <laughs> oh, I know. Hut Hut was the first thing that popped into my brain, too. 
It's like the World Calculus football team. Mm. The the famous linebacker. 100 Googleplex. Behold the number carpet bombing. <laughs> oh boy. It's starting to rain out. It's probably going to knock out the power here soon. I might move some other character dialogue in there. I might give Tanner a minute. That's going to have to be something I sit and think on. And instead of bringing you guys through a long amount of me sitting and planning, I think I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you very much, everybody, for showing up. Thank you very much, Dova Quill, for the carpet bombing of numbers and for joining us in writing. I hope you join us this coming Wednesday and bring some more writing projects of your own. If I ever figure out how to want to set this up to do, want to do so and structure this little show as it I'd like to be like the Bob Ross of writing that would be fun anyway thank you all very much for showing up I appreciate it dearly and until next time stay creative keep writing and let your imagination run wild later cool cats <laughs>